So if you don't already know, I always have the sauce when it comes to adding these paper effects to your videos. And this video is no exception because I'm gonna be showing you the easiest and most simplistic way to add these paper effects on any of your footage and make your subject appear out of thin air. So in Premiere Pro, I wanna firstly show you the final product that I came up with. And then we're gonna be recreating this from the ground up. That way you can do this to any of your footage. Very, very simply, we're gonna be using Photoshop and Premiere Pro, but don't let the Photoshop scare you. We're just using some generative AI. And I'll show you that in just a second, but let's look at our effect. So really clean paper effect. You can see there is the printer paper overlays with the scratches on the sides, but then also gonna kind of spawns out of nowhere with this paper rip coming out like this. We've covered effects similar to this in other videos, but nothing quite as easy as this. So I wanna walk you through this workflow because I genuinely think this is one of the easiest paper effects, but also one of the cleanest looking ones. So getting started, you wanna pick a clip of your subject, preferably on a tripod. I think it looks the best if it's on a tripod. And then you wanna to go to the beginning of the clip. And all we're gonna do is click this export frame button or hit control shift E or command shift E on Mac. And then we can name this frame one and then just save that somewhere on your computer that you'll be able to find it. Now go ahead and open that up inside of Photoshop. And what we're going to do is navigate to the lasso tool up here and then just do a quick selection around your subject. That way you can kind of mask him out and using Photoshop's new generative AI, we're going to click generate fill and then just click generate. It's gonna load for a second, depending on how quick your computer is. For me, it takes a few seconds. And then when we're done, you can see it pretty much made him disappear almost instantaneously. You can see if you go through the few prompts, some are better than others. I like this one the most. We're gonna go ahead and clean this up and I'll show you how to do that. So if you navigate to layers, you can actually control click on both of those layers, right click and then go to merge layers. Now that's gonna make it one individual layer. And we're gonna do that same technique again. So let's just go and circle where that is. So if yours messes up, you can go through and kind of do that same technique. A lot of times it'll get it right on the first try. So you don't actually have to go ahead and do that, but this will make it a lot cleaner. Now you can see it pretty much fixed everything. It doesn't look like there was a person here at all ever. So what we're gonna do is go to file, save as copy, and then just save it as a JPEG. And we can name this clean plates, click save and then just export it at the highest resolution. Now back in Premiere Pro, we wanna to navigate to Window, Essential Graphics, and then go to Browse. I'm gonna be using the Circle Grow transition from my Ultimate Texture Bundle V3. If you don't already have that, I'd highly recommend you go ahead and get it. It's gonna make this transition so much easier. All you have to do is drag and drop the Mogarts into this browser right here, and then drag it into your timeline. So now if you go ahead and play the footage on the timeline, you can see there's this green and black kind of paper rip effect. So if we go back to the Essential Graphics, and then open up where it says first clip, put footage here. We're gonna go ahead and drag our clean plate video into here. And then on that second clip, put footage here, we're gonna drag our video layer on there. So you can see this is the video of Gunna. And then when we go into our timeline, you can see we have the transition kind of already there. We have to do a few minor tweaks, but as you can see, it is already playing the effect like we wanted. Like it goes from nothing to scaling out with Gunna there. So what I like to do is go ahead and use your clean plate and drag that in for a few frames. That way we can have something like that and then it doesn't instantly go to this effect. It kind of will be able to play for a second. And because it's a still image, it does look a little weird and I'll show you some sauce on how to make it look a lot better. But then I'm also going to, because we are using footage from a music video that's already edited, our clip isn't that long. So you can see it kind of freezes here. So all I'm gonna do is right click, go to speed and duration and then reverse the clip after dragging it in after. So you can see it kind of just goes like this and looks like it's one long clip. For you, hopefully you have some footage that's a few seconds or longer. Just from the music video I was using, it's only like a second long. So there is that little pause, but making it go in reverse kind of fixes that issue. For you, you probably won't have to deal with that as long as your footage is longer than a few seconds. So now it kind of looks weird because it goes from normal footage to paper and then back to normal footage. So what we want to do is blend the beginning and the end with paper effects. And to make our footage match, we can go and import some printer paper overlays. I'm going to use the clean ones and then go to the low res 12 FPS and then drag that on and scale it up. And now you can see we have this printer paper overlay kind of happening. And all we have to do is go to effects controls and change that to screen so we can get our paper effect to kind of match. And as you can see, when it goes over the transition, it gets brighter. So all we have to do is just cut out the overlay right where the transition happens and we'll trim this down. And now we have this paper overlay throughout the whole entire thing. It looks a little stagnant. So what I'm gonna do is add some motion to it. And we can do that quickly and easily by going to this new item here, making a new adjustment layer. 
dragging it on above everything and then going to effects and controls and then adding the transform effect onto that adjustment layer and then going back into the effects controls going and scaling it from 100 to maybe all the way at the end to something like 110 that way it just has a little bit of movement moving in we can even uncheck use compositions shutter angle and change that shutter angle to 180 that way there's a little bit of motion blur and now you can see the effect is a little bit more smooth now that we have that one other thing i'm going to add on is just a posterize time effect onto that adjustment layer and drag it above the transform. That way the zoom in is just a little bit more choppy and matches the paper effect. We're gonna change that post rise time to 12. And then I'm just gonna cut the adjustment layer over the effect part and remove the post rise time. That's just gonna make the effect look a little smoother. And now you can see we have gonna popping up like this. There's just a few last things that I wanna do to sauce it up even further. In the example I showed you, there's these paper rips around the edges, which I really like. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in by importing the paper printer overlays, the scratch folder, we're going to use the medium res scratch 12 FPS and then drag that above everything, scale it to our frame size and then go to screen. And as you can see here, it does have this super washed out paper look. And if you like that, you can keep it. But what I'm gonna do is go to Lumetri color and then go to the curves. I'm gonna remove all of the blacks and pretty much just increase the highlights. That way, the only thing that actually is gonna be changing is just having these rips on around the edges and these little scratches in the middle. And then for my essential sound effects pack, I'm gonna be using the paper crumble sound effect. You can use any paper crumble sound effect you have, and I'm just gonna have it last the duration of the transition. And then just like that, we've turned any clip into this paper rip effect. It's super quick and simple to do, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you'd wanna go snag the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3, the sound effects, or anything that I used in this video, I'll have it linked down below, as well as a discount code. And by the way, if you're watching this video right now, that means there's a buy one, get one free sale going on. So you can get the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3 and get the sound effects pack for free, or the Ultimate Texture Bundle V1 and get the V2 for free. Mix and match any of the editing packs you want. And you can do that up to three times. That way you can get six editing packs for the price of three. So I'd highly suggest you go through, stock up on some editing packs. That way you can use it in future edits. But that's all I got for you guys on this one. Peace.